Hello and welcome to the scoreonair.com game of the night. We've got the visiting Dublin Coffin Rocks. Blah, blah, blah. I just messed that up. we got Dublin Coffin and Dublin Drum right here in the Dublin Ice House. Ice House. Ice House. Ice House. Chiller. Tonight. We're not streaming, are we? We're not streaming right now. Okay, cool. Yeah, starting for Dublin Drum tonight online, number one is left winger Nate Nick Augenstein. The center is TBD because I don't know who is starting at center tonight. The right winger is Dalton Miller. On defense on the first line is Ryan Jenkins and Adam Bourbon. The second line consists of left winger Ethan French. The two goal scorer from last night, Trent Belly, and on the right wing, J.P. Weaver. J.P. Weaver, the story of the night, three goals, three assists, total of six points on the season. So look out for him. On the third line, we've got Christopher Posaki, Brian Wheeler, and Evan Shea. On defense on that third line, Jack Moses and Vince Comfort. And manning that fourth line is Avery Malicki, Brandon King, and Adam Booth. Starters for the Dublin Kaufman Rocks. Starting on line one, right in the middle is Adam Hoover. On his right side, Alex, Alec Willis and Cam Andrews on the left. Starting on defense on that first line is Joey DeCicino and Telly Burnsons. On that second line, starting in the middle is Connor Kiersey, followed by Ian Fight and Keegan Hoover on the wings. On defense is Gavin Shefferly and Tomo Sakon. I apologize to Tomo's family. On that third line is Bo Sung Kim, Ben Shefflin, and Bear Spiker. Starting on defense for that third line is Josh Curtin and Evan Mitchell. And actually, I'm just going to say it. I'm going to go down the offense first, then say the defenseman. I think that works. Dalton Miller and Nick Augenstein. On line two is superstar from last night, Trent Belly. J.P. Weaver and Ethan French make out the wings. On that third line is Christopher Posaki, Brian Wheeler in the middle, and Evan Shea on the other side. Starting on line four is Avery Malicki, Brandon King, and Adam Booth. For your defense is Ryan Jenkins and Adam Bourbon on line one. On line two, Christopher Posaki and Nate Kalinda. On line three is Big Jack Moses and Vince Comfort for your Dublin Kaufman Rocks. Whew. Starting on line one, manning the center is Adam Hoover, flanked by Alec Willis and Cam Andrews on the wings. Line two, Connor Kersey in the middle, flanked by Keegan Hoover and Ian Fight. On line three, right in the middle is Ben Shefflin. Vince, Bear, Spiker, and Bo Sung Kim make out the wings for defense. Joey Disocino and Telly Burnson. Gavin Shefferly, Tomo Sakan. And Josh Curtin and Evan Mitchell make out your third defensive pairing. <laughs> Coaches for your Dublin Jerome Celtics, Patrick Murphy and Patrick Mayfield. Don't know who your coaches are for Dublin Coffin. In net for your Jerome Celtics is number 34, Harrison Graff. Oh, we're starting. We are underway here in the Dublin Ice House ch Chiller with the Dublin Jerome. Celtics taking on the Dublin Coffin Rocks. Face off won by the Celtics. Center ice, Coffin with the puck down in Jerome territory. Coffin in the corner, fighting, fighting for possession in the corner. Puck out to mid ice. Oh, <laughs> smacked by the defenseman. Ethan French and the two goal scorer from last night, Trent Belly, number 23, right there in the middle of the ice. He'll be somebody to look out for tonight. Jerome's goalie goes ahead and clears it for, for the Celtics out to mid ice. That'll give, that'll give Jerome an opportunity to reset those lines. Graf behind back in net tonight. 
starting his fourth game of the season, currently sitting at 3-0 and with a 9.34 save percentage. Jenkins and company in the corner fighting, fighting for possession of that puck. Clears it out to the right side of the wing. Kaufman is able to fight it back into Jerome, into Jerome territory, and Jerome goes ahead and clears the puck, and that should give us our first icing call of the game. Learn how to play hockey. Junior Jackets presented by Tim Hortons is a great way to get involved in hockey and learn the basic skills of skating, stick, handling, shooting, and team play. Visit thechiller.com slash hockey slash classes for more information and registration. We have learned how to play hockey classes for all ages starting at three all the way up to 18 plus. Face off in Jerome territory, one by, one by Kaufman. Kaufman out with it, out the middle. <laughs> that's 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 high school hockey for you. Five or six guys fighting for the puck at one time at mid ice behind the Jerome bench. Jerome brings it up ice. We're at mid ice right now with with the puck. Out to mid ice number ten. Dalt Mella takes possession of the puck. He will move it forward into the Kaufman, uh, into Kaufman territory. Isn't able to get a shot on goal behind the net. Fighting for possession of that puck behind the net. Kaufman is able to clear it out. That will give Jerome an opportunity to reset those lines. Oh, these... Jerome on defense, attempting to clear that puck out, out, out of their zone in mid-ice. <laughs> oh, smacked across the mi middle. It is Christian Posaki, but he gets right up. He, he, he's a tough guy. Behind the net, Kaufman goes. Possession of the puck being fought for, cleared out to mid-ice, and icing is waved off. Behind the net, that'll give Kaufman an opportunity to reset. Jerome is able to keep that puck in Coffin territory. A little scrum going on over there in the corner of the uh, in the corner of the rink. Out to the blue line once again. Jerome sets it up, shoots on net, wide right. Fighting for possession of that puck again. We're behind the behind the Coffin net. Jerome looking to get another shot on net. They had a ton of shots last night. They were able to defeat New Albany 5-2 last night in a tough fought contest. Shot just wide left of the goal. Harrison Graff, who I mentioned earlier, sitting at 3-0 with a 9.34 save percentage. Is, I mean, is one of the most reliable players on that Jerome, Jerome squad. Out to bed, Ice. Jerome will start the charge. Shot on net, wide right. You gotta love that, you know, that high school brand of hockey. Just, just sloppy passing all, all over the rink. We're down in the left-hand corner of the of the Kaufman side. Still, Kaufman currently with two shots on goal. Jerome with one currently. Harrison Graff has not been quite tested yet. Jerome out, out with a breakaway. Three on three hockey down, down into Kaufman territory. Back out to mid ice. That'll allow Ryan Jenkins to reset the puck. Slides it over to his defenseman on the right side of the right side of the ice, but it's intercepted by Kaufman. Just back and forth, back and forth hockey. Just looking for that crisp, crisp passing. We're not quite getting it yet. And that's Trent Belli right there down in the corner. Two goals scored last night. Look, looking for big things again from him tonight. Five goals, five assists for a total of ten points on the campaign. Not bad for five games in the season. J.P. Weaver. Jerome. 
jump shot is, is stopped stopped by the defenseman. They'll reset out. A shot out wide, just wide left. Fighting for possession of that puck in the corner. Shot on net is deflected wide again. That time by number 12, Connor Kersey. Kersey will bring it out. He's tries trying to set up his teammate, loses the puck behind the net. It, it'll, it'll settle behind the Kaufman net. Kaufman attempts to dump it back into Jerome territory. Line two back out there, manned by Trent Belli in the middle. It's JP Weaver out with it, loses it in, in Kaufman territory. Just fighting for the puck right now, Middle Ice. Posaki right there. Dalton Miller clears it over to his teammate. Give him a chance to reset. Pass up mid ice. I mean. That looks like number eleven, Alexander Willis with a shot on goal. Stopped by Harrison Graham. Fighting for possession of that puck still out to mid ice. It's number three, Nick Augenstein with the breakaway. Dishes over his teammate to number 10, Dalton Miller. That's deflected up. Give us a stoppage of play. Still, we, we still got a 0 0 game here in the first period. Check out this big hit earlier in the contest. Woo! Going across the middle. You got to keep your head up after that one. Shot on net, just wide left. Jerome leading shots on goal right now, four to two. Hey, here's that Kaufman shot, just deflected wide right by Harrison Graff. We'll have a, we'll have a face off deep in Kaufman territory. Looks like line four out there for Jerome. Shea in front of the net, can't get physical possession of the puck. Big Jack Moses keep it, keeping the puck inside inside Kaufman territory. Oh, a shot by Posaki, stopped by the goalie. Wesley Buke, who uh, you may notice on your roster, is the only goalie listed on the Dublin Kaufman roster, currently sitting at 3-0. He's had a pretty solid start to the campaign with an 8.59 save percentage. We'll get an icing call and we'll get reset in the Kaufman, Kaufman territory. Face off one by the Rocks, still behind net for Kaufman. Attempting to clear this puck and get back into Jerome territory. That's 22 Cam Andrews able to get the puck cleared back into behind the Jerome net. Fighting tough for that puck. Exchange, <laughs> exchanging possession in, in on mid ice. <sighs> Behind the coffin, that coffin's able to clear it up. And here, here we got a one on two rush for coffin. Shot on goal just high. is able to regain possession of that puck. Attempts to find his, his man across the middle, but it's intercepted by Jerome. Cleared out to mid-ice. Taken back by Kaufman. Here comes Kaufman. Number 11, Alex, Alec Willis clears the puck, and we're going to have a stoppage of play. Here's that shot we saw just a minute ago that went, that just went just wide right. Genetics number 23, Trent Belly, winning over 75% of his faceoffs currently on the season. He isn't able to win that one. Stop it to play again. We'll see what's going on. Not entirely sure if a net came off or. Yeah, icing called on on the play. We'll get a face off deep. Okay, we'll get a face off in Jerome territory. 
It looks like big Trent Bell. I take the face off once again for Jerome. One, one by Kaufman once again. Shot on net, deflected wide by Graf. JP Weaver takes possession of the puck mid ice. Loses it to a Kaufman defender. 12 Connor Kersey, just super active so far today. Intercepted by Ethan French. French has got it mid ice, slides it over to Trent Bally, the leading scorer from last, the two goal scorer from last night. In front of net, can't, can't find pay dirt. Weaver in front of the net. Tries to find his teammate French, can't find him. He, Belli in front of the net, Weaver again in front of the net. Can't quite get that shot on. Coffin's gonna clear the puck. Joseph DeCesare on that breakaway with his teammate. Shot on goal, stopped by Graf. 5.38 left to go in this first period. We've still got a 0-0 game, and this was not the case last night. New Albany went up one nothing quickly in that toughly fought game last night with Jerome eventually winning that contest 5-2. Faceoffs dominated by Jerome last night. Tonight dominated by Coffin. Once again, Coffin wins the faceoff, but Jerome's going to come back up with possession. That's number three, Nate Augustine Augustine on the breakaway, shot on net, and he can't, he can't bury his opportunity. <laughs> Fighting tough in front of that net. All sorts of bodies in front. Shot on goal, deflected eye. Fighting tough for that puck behind the Kaufman net. S several defenders in front of that. Shot on goal once again. Dalton Miller, Comfort all in front of the net. Shot just deflected wide by the goalie. Wesley Buke just up to the challenge, as is Harrison Graff. And now we've got two 3-0 and goaltenders to end tonight's matchup. Graff getting the night off last night. Ryan Norkin coming up big, big for, for the uh, Celtics last night, only giving up two goals and three periods of play. Puck, puck possession by Kaufman, then by Jerome, then by Kaufman. Still fighting tough for possession of the puck. A lot like last night, just a lot of tough fought, tough fought possessions on in mid ice. Shot on neck from the from the blue line is deflected wide. Fighting for possession for that net is Shea. Ooh. Nobody touched him, he just fell down. And Jerome will reset in, in on their own side of the ice. Pass up to Jerome, can't quite find his teammate on the connection. Jerome in front of the net, looking for that first goal on, on the night. That's Posacki trying to find the deflect, deflection, getting tripped in front of the net. Back out to mid ice. That's big number nine, Avery Maliki clearing it for the Celtics. Oh, I apologize, Adam Bourbon. Coffin with possession of the puck again, able to find his teammate mid ice. That's 22. Cam Andrews taking it up ice with him, and we're gonna have Harrison Graf's gonna just sit on that one. We're gonna have a stoppage of play. 3:38 left to go in this first period. 0-0. Right here on the ScoreOnAir.com network. At the Ohio Health Chiller Ice Rinks, our classes offer high-quality, progressive skill development for the beginner hockey player, figure skater, speed and recreational skater. Year-round skating classes offered for ages three and up. 3.35 left to go in this first period. Stop to play again. Graf will just go ahead and sit on sit on this one once again. Yeah, coming into this one, I was super excited about this goalie matchup. 2-3-0, two, two undefeated goaltenders. I mean, a 9.34 save percentage for a Graf. I mean, Coach Murph couldn't say enough good things about him yesterday and this morning. On the other side of things, you know, number 35, Wesley Buke, who's been huge for Kaufman all year. Super excited to see both of them. Possession of the puck at mid-ice. Coffin takes possession of the puck right back and is able to clear it down into Jerome territory. Big number eight, Adam Bergen was slided over his teammate in the corner. Still fighting for possession of that puck. 13, Brandon King will attempt to clear it out. Back behind the Jerome net once again, that's number 12, Ryan Jenkins fighting hard in the corner for possession. 
Brandon King, Ryan Jenkins, both there in the corner fighting for possession, and the puck just trying to get it out of the Jerome territory. 2.44 left to go in this first period. We've still got a nil-nil game. Both goaltenders have been absolutely huge so far today. We're going to have a stoppage in play here. We'll see what the call is. Why'd they stop the puck? Not sure. Yeah, nothing called on that play. I'm not sure of the stoppage of puck, but we'll get a face-off won by Jerome and Jerome territory. And that's 45 from French attempting again. There's Trent Belli, the big the big time goal scorer from last night. Belli on net, deflected wide by Buke. JP Weaver in the corner with it, trying to center up his man, and he can't quite find him. Cotton will take possession of that once again. Jerome is able to sneak up from behind him and grab that puck, but not quite able to get possession back into Jerome territory. Hard hit into the wall. It, this entire game has been tough fought so far all day, folks. Fighting for possession of that puck in the corner. Cam Andrews and company will have another stoppage of play. Andrews attempting to set up his teammate there. Can't quite find him. We got a little bit of a tie up. I'm not entirely sure what it was. But we'll get another face off here, it looks like. We're better to cele celebrate your birthday than the Ohio Health Chiller Ice Rings. Parties including ice skating, skate rental, birthday table with paperwork, invitations, slice of Papa John's pizza, and more. Book your birthdays now. Pricing $18 per child. Days and times. Friday, 6.30 to 8.30. Saturday, 1 to 3, 4 to 6. Get out here to the Ohio Health Ice Chiller. 154 left to go in this first, in this first period. Face off one by Jerome. Fuck taken behind the net. Harrison Graff takes, takes a look around. Cleared out by Jerome, and it looks like we'll have another ice call. I apologize, that was stopped by the goalie. No icing on that one. Kaufman takes takes possession of the puck. And I've got some clarification on that stoppage of play earlier. We've got two Dublin Jerome Celtics in the box, one of them being Nate Kalinda. I'm not sure of the other one, but that'll be two minutes for both. One player misconduct, conduct, one hooking. So we'll have five on three hockey. Apologize, we'll have five on four hockey. Coffin with the puck in front of the net. Shoot on, shoot on just wide right. Alexander Willis with it out in front. Shoots in front, <laughs> deflected away by Graf. Coffin, another opportunity. Shot on goal. It stopped by Harrison Graf. Forty-seven seconds left to go in this first period. We've still got no score here at the Ohio. Health Ice Ice Hoss Chiller here in Dublin, Ohio, with your scoreonair.com game of the day. Face off in Jerome territory. One by, I say one by Kaufman on that. Kaufman out on the wing with it, finds his teammate in the corner. Good puck movement by the Kaufman Rocks. Looking for some space. Out wide to his defenseman, shot on, shot on net, deflected by a Jerome defenseman, and cleared out by a Dublin Jerome, and that'll give him an opportunity to reset. That's number 14, Telly Burson, bringing up for the Kaufman Rocks. There's number 22, Cam Andrews, finds his teammate to the left, number 11, Alec Willis. Back out to mid-ice, that's 22, Cam Andrews once again. Mid-ice, 24, Gavin Sheffield. Jerome will just go ahead and reset that one, and that one will actually fly into one of the penalty boxes over there. Look out. 5.4 seconds left to go in this first period, 11 seconds left on that power play. We've got a 0-0 game here at the Dublin Ice, Ho Ice Hoss Chiller. Zero, 0 game, four seconds left to go. Let's see if Coffin get one more shot on net. They are not able to. The Jerome <laughs> defense is going to come up strong, and that's how we'll end. Telly Burns goes, goes ahead and clears that puck, and that'll be the end of the first period. The different.
the first between the first period and the second period in high, high school hockey is a little bit different. There isn't quite as much of an intermission. They take five minutes or so. From the second to the third period, they'll take a full intermission. So we're going to hit a quick break. we got a 0-0 game here between Jerome and Kaufman. This is the scoreandair.com game of the week. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to the scoreandair.com game of the week. We've got the Dublin Drum Celtics taking on the Dublin Kaufman Rocks, the battle for Dublin. 0-0 tie here going into the second period. A lot of the story in that first period was just possession of the puck, fighting hard for it in the corners, fighting for it in the middle of the rink. It, just a lot of tough, tough fought possession type hockey. <sighs> Down in Kaufman territory. Jerome's able to bring it out to center. That's Trent Belli attempting to bring it down into Kaufman territory. We have a stoppage of play. Puck's going to fall into the fall into the bench. One of those interesting sports where the puck or the ball can come out of come out of uh, the field of play and it will stop stop play, like baseball, for instance. Uh, you don't typically see a lot of footballs go out of football fields, but uh, faceoff won by Dublin Jerome, Jerome defenseman number twelve. 12, Ryan Jenkins with it in his own territory. Clears it up down to the Kaufman side of the rink, and we'll have an icing call. 14.31 left to go in this second period. Still nothing, nothing. We'll have a face-off in Jerome, Jerome, on Jerome's side of the ice. Big, big crowd here in the Dublin Ice House, ice house Chiller for this big-time divisional matchup between Jerome and and Kaufman. Lots and lots of fans out here for this one, enjoying this one in the ice house. Haas Schiller. Face off one by Dub Dublin Jerome. Take it out to mid ice. That's number 23, Trent Belli with it out in center ice. Loses it to Kaufman. Kaufman is able to take possession of it on mid ice. More of that tough <laughs> possession hockey. It looks like number 45, Ethan Thrench, will bring it out with a couple of his line mates out here to the Kaufman side, side of the arena. Fighting possession of that back. Shot on goal by Trent Bell. I just, just high. Kaufman re retakes possession of the puck. Is able to clear it out, and they'll be able to reset lines. Icing called on icing called on the play. We'll have a faceoff with 13.54 left to go in this second period. Still nothing, nothing between Jub Dublin Jerome and Dublin Kaufman. That looks like number 11, Brian Wheeler, will take this face off for Jerome. Puck drop, drop won by Jerome, sent out to his defenseman, number 6. Shot on net, deflected wide. Number 15, Jack Moses, takes it on the, on the side, clears it into behind the net for Jerome. Jerome out with it out in front, is not able to get a shot on net. Coffin will clear. Out to mid ice we go. <laughs> That's number 10, Dalton Miller, tripped up at mid-ice, fighting for possession of that puck. 13.30 left to go in this second period. Nothing, nothing, Ty is still coughing with possession of the puck. Number 12, Connor Kersey will bring it out. Alongside his line, he <laughs> smacked across the middle. Number 11, number 12, I, I apologize, Connor Kersey. Possession of the puck to Jerome. Passing in front, front of the net, just wide right of number 3, Nate Augenstein. Puck will be cleared out by Jerome, and we'll have an icing call on this one. 13.04 left to go in the second period. Here's that hit by, by Dublin Jerome right across the middle, and then just, just wide, on, wide on the centering pass down there for Jerome. We'll, ha we'll have a faceoff in Kaufman territory. Looks like number 22, Christopher Posaki, will take it for Jerome. Faceoff won by... I guess give it to Jerome. Jerome with it, center ice. Adam Bourbon gets it over to his teammate, number 29, Evan Shea. Shea is able to get it deep into Kaufman territory, back out of mid ice. Number eight, big Adam Bourbon with it, center ice. Trying to figure out where to go with that puck. Slides it up to number six, Adam Booth. Booth with it forward. Two defensemen in the corner. Number 20, Ben Shefflin will go ahead and clear that puck for the Rocks and smacked again. That's number six, Adam Booth, with the big hit over there. Another hit up against the, up against the boards. That's Christopher Posecki smacked up against the board for Jerome. Puck behind the Coffin net. Coffin goaltender looking around, can't find the puck. Puck in front of the net. And that's going to be a goal for Jerome. 
And that'll break this nil-nil tie with 12-16 left to go in this second period. And that looks like number 22, Christopher Posecki, is able to clean up the garbage in front. Yeah, like I said, 12-16 left to go in this second period. Jerome is finally able to break up this stalemate. Fourth line out for, for Jerome. Steven Tejada on the wing. Back to his defenseman. Puck mid-ice up to Jerome. Kaufman is able to take possession of that puck mid-ice. That's number 22. Cam Andrews with possession of the puck. Goes ahead and slides it down behind, behind the net. Harrison Graff behind net. Will attempt to slow that puck down. Battling for possession of that puck in, in the corner back there. Shot on net, deflected wide by Harrison Graff. Kaufman with possession of the puck, attempts <laughs> attempts the shot, but Steven Tejada will come up with that big deflection and clear that puck. Here comes number <laughs> four for Jerome, isn't able to get the shot on goal. Puck back into the corner. I apologize, the goal was by Evan Shea. Puck back out to mid ice. Coffin possession of the puck behind their own nets. Gets it out to their forwards. <laughs> the Kaufman winger looking around for that puck. Evan Mitchell can't quite find it. That's going to be deflected up and in, into the stands. We'll have, we'll have a faceoff with 11-17 left to go in the second period. Dublin Jerome leading the Kaufman Rocks 1-0 right here. Face off one by number 23, Big Trent Belli. That's going to be Belli and J.P. Weaver on this on this breakaway charge. Weaver shot just wide of the net. That'll go into the netting behind the goal, and we'll have another face off here in Kaufman territory. 11:08 left to go in this second period. Jerome leads Kaufman one to nothing. And it looks like that second line will stay out there to take this face off. Of Ethan Thrins, Tr Trent Belli, J.P. Weaver, and Chris Posacki, and Nate Galen on defense. Face off one by Kaufman. Kaufman with it mid ice. Attempting to dump that into drum territory. Not able to do so. Number 18, J.P. Weaver goes ahead. Tripped up mid ice. Attempting, attempting to find his teammate. And we're going to have a tripping call it on that one. That's going to be number 12, Connor Kersey. Watch this replay. Here's that, here's that big trip across the middle. Clearly, you can see the stick. The stick hung out out there, and that's going to give them a two-minute power play. Two minutes in the sin bin. That'll give. That'll give Dublin Jerome the two-minute power play with 10:53 left to go in this second period. Face-off deep in Coffin territory. And that's Trent Belli manning that second line, taking that face-off once again. One by shot in front of the net, just wide right. Excellent centering pass by number 23, Trent Belli. Belli back out with it. Up top resets. Defenseman shot on Cole. Big save. Is not able to stop it, but Dr Coffin is able to clear that puck. Harrison Graff will take it down in Dr Jerome territory. And officially on that penalty, it's number 12, Connie Kears here. Two minutes for tripping. Jerome back out. Ethan French fighting for possession of that puck deep in, deep in Coffin territory. Trent Belli with possession of the puck once again. Passes it over to number 12, Ryan Jenkins. Jenkins to his defenseman. Shot on goal. Another stop by. Another big time stop for, for Buick. Here's that replay and here's that shot on net again. Another stop by Wesley Buick. And you're seeing exactly why these goalies are both 3-0 on the season. You can, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. They're both excellent goalies. Both leaders on their team. Their teams really do rely on these guys quite a bit. Face off in Kaufman territory, won by Jerome. Turns around, attempted shot on that, is not able to connect. JP Weaver passes it over to <laughs> number three, Nick Augustine, with a shot on the play, deflected wide by the goalie, by Buick. Fighting for possession of that puck in the corner. Looking to center that puck is. Is Dublin Drum, Dublin Drum with it in the corner, looking for one of his teammates to center that puck. They'll reset at the top of the crease. 
Pass over the right side, centering Kent. And that's Dalton Miller attempting to deflect that puck in. Miller with the hit over there. That's number 12, Ryan Jenkins. Shot on goal, deflected wide by Buick. 9.26 left to go in this second period. Jerome leads Kaufman one to nothing. Shot on goal, deflected wide once again by Buick. Fighting for possession of that puck on this power. 20 seconds left to go in this power play in front. And, that, and that's a goal for number 10, Dalton Miller. In front of the net, they're able to capitalize on that power play. Watch number 10, Dalton Miller, come across, come across the middle here. Slick, slick little one-two in front of the net is able to bury it. Going to make it a two-nothing Dublin Jerome over Dublin Kaufman. I apologize. That was four on four hockey. Each, each team had one man in the box, so we'll go to five on five hockey. One man in the box. I, I, I don't know. Drum with it in front of the net. Kaufman's able to clear out. Number 11, Alec, Alec Willis is able to take it out. Shot on goal, just wide right, and that'll be stopped and and, and stopped by Harrison Graff. 8:55 left to go in the second period. Jerome leads Kaufman two to nothing. Learn how to play hockey right here at the Ohio Health Chiller Ice Rinks. Junior Jackets presented by Tim Hortons. It's a great way to get involved in hockey and learn the basic skills of skating, stick handling, shooting, and team play. Visit thechiller.com slash hockey classes for more information and registration. Coffin with possession of the puck behind the drum net. Looks like the puck's going to be cleared back out, and that's number 22, Christopher Posaki, with it deep in the drum. Coffin territory shot on net, deflected by Harrison Buick. Coffin with possession of the puck, shot on net, stopped by number 26 for Dublin Drum. And that's Dublin Drum. They're going to have a two on one. Two on one there is number 22, Christopher Versacchi, shot on net, but that's deflected wide by the defenseman. Not able to hook up on that one. 8-10 left to go in the second period. Jerome leads Coffin 2 to nothing. Here's that two-on-one breakaway again for you. Had the numbers attempts to center his teammate. And that defenseman does a fantastic job of getting in front of that. 8-10 left to go in this second period. 2-0 Dublin Jerome over the Dublin Coffin Rocks here in the Ohio Health Chiller Ice Rink. Faceoff will be taken by Jerome's number 23, Trent Belli. I'm going to say Coffin won, won that face off deep in Coffin territory. 8.02 left to go in the second period. Coffin leading 2 0. Drum resetting, able to clear that back into Coffin territory. Goalie clears that out from behind the net. Here's number three, Nick. 13, Brandon King with a shot just high. That will give us another stoppage of play. 7.46 left to go in this second period. Dublin Jerome leads Dublin Coffin 2 to nothing. Face off one by Kaufman behind the net. And that'll get cleared out to number six, Ian Feet. Back behind the Kaufman net once again, number 10, Joseph DeCicera. We'll have another stoppage of play. And give me one second, and I'll figure out what just happened. That looks like a check up against the board. We'll, I'll let you know what the call is. It looks like number... Number four for Jerome would be going to the box. And that is Joel Eisenson will be two minutes for cross-checking, I believe. Face-off one by Dublin Drums, Trent Belli. That's number 26. Clears it into the coffin zone for Jerome. 152 left to go on that power play. Another five on four, a man advantage here. Here comes a shorthanded rush for Kaufman deep into Jerome territory. Fighting for possession of that puck deep in the Jer Jerome, Jer behind, uh, behind the Jerome net. Seven, seven twenty-one left to go in this second period. Jerome leads Kaufman two to nothing. One twenty-nine left to go in this power play. One another stoppage of play. 
Gets a call from the ref, and I'll let you know what happened. This will give both teams an opportunity to go ahead and reset their lines. For Jerome, it looks like they'll have Christopher Posaki, Brian Wheeler, and Evan Shea out there. And on defense, Jack Moses and Vince Comfort. Puck cleared by Jerome down to Buick, and he'll just go ahead and sit on that. We'll have another, we'll have another stoppage of play. 7 to 4 left to go in this second period. Jeblin Jerome leads 2 to nothing. still a minute 10 left to go on that power play. And it looks like number 11, Brian Wheeler, will take this faceoff for Jerome. Faceoff won by Kaufman. 12, Connor Kersey will bring it out for his with, with his line mates. Deep into Jerome territory, Jerome is, attempts to clear, is not able to get it past, past the Kaufman winger. Shot on net, deflected wide by, by the defense. We'll have another stoppage of play. 6.33 left to go in the second period. 47 seconds left on that power play. Dublin Jerome leads Dublin Kaufman 2 to nothing right here in the Ohio Health Ice Hoss Chiller. Birthdays just got cooler. The Ohio Health Chiller Ice Rinks have four locations, Dublin, Easton, Lewis Center, downtown. Register online right now at chiller.com slash birthdays. 6.25 left to go in the second period. Jerome leading two to nothing. Coffin with the puck out wide. Number 12, Connor Kersey will attempt to clear it out of the zone. It's going to go deep in it, deep into Coffin territory. Number 10, Dalton Miller fighting possession. That puck down there amongst three different Coffin defensemen. Posaki, number 22, attempts to dump that back in the zone. And a big hit by Dalton Miller, and he's still on top of him. And that's 22, Cam Andrews out wide with it. Running with his linemen, attempting to get a shot on net here. 5.52 left to go in the second period. Jerome leading Kaufman 2 to nothing. Another hit deep into Kaufman territory, fighting possession of that puck up against up against the boards. Kaufman will come back out with it. Ben Shefflin will pass it over his teammate. Shot on net, just wide right. Harrison Graff's able to get a piece of that and deflect that wide right. Fighting possession of that puck deep in the corner. Kaufman looking to put some pressure on that Jerome goalie. Puck's going to slide all the way down into Kaufman territory. Looks like Jerome's going to take possession of that number 18 JP Weaver's shot on net wide. Weaver in front of the net, attempting to get centered up. Puck just sat in front of that goalie, and Kaufman is able to clear, clear it from the defense. Harrison Graff will slow the puck down for Jerome, and they'll go ahead and reset behind their own net. 4.55 left to go in this second period. Dublin Jerome leads Dublin Coffin 2 to nothing. 18 JP Weaver taking that puck back into Coffin territory once again. Weaver with it. Finds his teammate. Not able to hook up. Centering pass denied. Coffin with a charge with a 2 on 2. Shot on net. Just wide left by number 11, Alec Willis. Fighting for possession deep in, deep in deep in the corner. Puck's going to get cleared out once again by Dublin Jerome. Jerome doing an excellent job of limiting the opportunities for Coffin right now. Harrison Graff's doing a great job in that, but they're doing an excellent job of limiting that to just one opportunity and getting that puck out of their own zone. Line change for Coffin. We'll have a two-on-two -two led by Ethan French and Trent Belli. French in the corner can't hook up with his centering teammate Belli in front of the net. Coffin's going to regain possession of the puck out to mid ice again. There's 45 even French next next to his teammate Trent Belli, but Coffin's going to go ahead and clear that puck on the line of icing. 3.53 left to go in this second period. Dublin Jerome leads Dublin Coffin 2 to nothing. Learn how to skate. Year round skating classes offered for ages 3 and up. Our classes offer high quality progressive skill development for the beginner hockey player, figure skater, speed, and recreational skater. Visit thechiller.com slash classes for more information and registration. Face-off in Coffin territory, 3.52 left to go in the second period, 2-0 Jerome. Face-off won by, I think, Coffin. Puck behind the Coffin net. Centering puck, shot on net, just deflected wide by the defenseman. Big hit by number 18, Josh Curtin, up against, up against the board. Him and 
Yeah, him and the Jerome defender each got a piece of each other there. Looks like this puck's going to be cleared down into Jerome territory behind the net. Another big hit by number 28 from Jerome. Fighting possession of that puck, Jerome attempting to clear it out, but the goal is going to come off and that will help stop it to play. With that being said, 3.15 left to go in the second period. Jerome leads Kaufman 2 to nothing. Fifteen left to go in this second period. Dublin Jerome leads Coffin. We'll have a face-off center ice. Face-off won by Jerome. That's number three, Nick Nick Augustine on the one, two on three. <laughs> Shot in front of the net, stopped by Wesley Buick, and we'll have another stop at the play. 3.05 left to go in this second period. Dublin Jerome leads Del Dublin Coffin two to nothing here in the Ohio Health Chiller Ice Rink. Behind me is currently an open ice ice skate going on here in the Ohio Health Ice House Chiller. Tons of different things to do here. Two two nothing let two nothing game right now. 3:05 left to go in the second period. Jerome leading Coffin two to nothing. That'll be stopped by Harrison Graff. We'll, we'll get another face off. Graff just working hard in that, in that net right now. I don't want to. Uh, mess anything up, but Harrison Graff 3 0 in the season at 934 save percentage. I mean showing off showing off that glove several times in this matchup. Miller off ice tries to find a pass to that defender. He's not able to get past him. Coffin back in possession of the puck. 22 Cam Andrews up on the 2-1-3 rush once again. Shot on net is not able to quite quite get it there. Fighting for possession of that puck deep in the deep in the coffin corner. Like a, a host of, of different defenders and wing, wings down there in the corner. Fighting for that possession of that puck once again, deep in deep into Jerome territory. Jerome doing an excellent job of really limiting the opportunities for Coffin. That's number three, Nate Augustine, on the breakaway with, with his linemate, Tim Dalton Miller. In front of the net, shot by Brian Wheeler, stopped by Wesley Buick. With that being said, 2.15 left to go in the second period. Dublin Jerome leads the Dublin Coffin Rocks 2 to nothing right here in the Ohio Health Chiller Ice Rink. Big time matchup of the two Dublin schools, 2 to nothing. I, and, that really, and that really tells a story right now. This has been very, very tough fought, very, very physical. We've seen plenty of checking. We've seen plenty of guys hit the ice. It's been a very physical game. These kids know each other. They've grown up with each other. They know each other well. Coffin with possession of the puck. That's Cam Andrews leading the charge again. Shot on net stopped by Harrison Graff. Coming up huge. Here's that shot on net by Coffin and that, that two on two breakaway. Andrews with a shot on net and Harrison Graff's able to use that club side at once again. 155 left to go in this second period. Jerome leading Coffin at two to nothing. Puck in front of the net, deflected wide right. Centering it, but that's number six, Adam Booth, able able to go ahead and stop that for Jerome. Adam Booth leading the charge. Teammates, teammates Shea and Christopher Posaki out in front, fighting possession of a shot on goal just wide right. 129 left to go in the second period. Jerome leads Coffin two to nothing, fighting possession of that puck on in mid ice. Shot on net is whiffed on once again. That will start a new charge for Trent, for Jerome and company. Posaki leads that charge, clears it, clears it into Kaufman territory. Kaufman and Jerome fighting hard for possession of this puck. Posaki loses possession of that puck again. Kaufman come back up again. We'll have two on two, a two on two rush here for Kaufman. Loses possession of that puck right in front of the net. We'll have Dell and Jerome will take possession of this puck. That's 23, big Trent Bella, the two-goal scorer from last night, trying to find the net before the end of the second period. 43 le seconds left to go. In front of the net, shot on net, deflected by the defense. That will give us a stop at the play. 39 seconds left to go in this second period. Dublin Jerome leads the Dublin Coffin Rocks 2 to nothing, right here in the Ohio Health Chiller Ice Rink. 
line two out there for Dublin Drum, Trent Belli, Ethan French and Company. Take, go ahead and take this face off. Face off one by Kaufman. That's number 22, Cam Andrews leading the charge again, gets the puck down ice, down into Drum territory behind the net. Twenty-three seconds left to go in this second period. Dublin Drum still leading two to nothing over the, over the Dublin Coffin Shamrocks. Clear down into Coffin territory. Coffin slides it back up to mid ice. Not able to take possession of that puck. This line two has been playing a lot for Dublin Drum. Trent Belli, the big goal scorer from last night. From last night, the goal scorers were Nate Galinda, Evan Shea, J.P. Weaver, and then Trent Belli with the two last night. I joked with him earlier earlier this afternoon before the game. I asked him, why couldn't you get me three last night? And then I asked him, you know, are you going to get me two again tonight? And he just kind of smiled and laughed. He said he's going to try his best. So we'll have a faceoff. Brian Will will take his faceoff for Jerome. Faceoff won by Coffin. Bo Sung Kim with the puck, shot on net. Stopped, stopped by Harrison Graff, and that's going to take us to the end of the second period. At the end of the second period, we've got a 2-0 game. Dublin Jerome leading the Dublin Coffin Rocks 2-0. This is the scoreonair.com game of the week. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the scoreonair.com game of the week. So I, I must have misspoke a little bit earlier. So I, maybe they rotate, you know, one period, one intermission is longer than the other. Maybe they just coaches decide this before the game. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, a couple minutes later, we're going to have action right again. Number 11, Brian Wheeler for Jerome wins the faceoff. Jerome with possession of the puck mid ice. Coffin's able to clear that into Jerome territory. Number two, Nate Quinn is able to get it back to mid ice. Coffin clears into behind the Jerome net. 14.47 left to go in this third period. Dublin Jerome leading the Dublin Coffin Rocks 2 to nothing. We'll clear that behind the Coffin net. The goalie will get it over to his line mate. And number 11, Brian Wheeler back with it in the corner. Attempts to center it for his teammate. He's not able to find him. Defenseman for Coffin is able to clear that puck almost. Here comes Coffin with, the, with possession of the puck, and that's Alec Willis leading that charge, but is not able, not able to connect with his teammate down ice. 14-20 left to go in this third period. Two to nothing, Jerome. Shot on net just wide of Harrison Graff. Shot on net again, deflected wide by Harrison Graff. <laughs> Fighting for possession of that pocket over there. Number 10, Dalton Miller laying the smack down on the Coffin, on the Coffin player. 13-58 left to go in this third period. Dublin Jerome leads Dublin Coffin two to nothing. We're gonna have a stoppage play. Looks like Harrison Graff will just sit on that puck. And it looks like number 10, Dalton Miller, will be spending a couple minutes in this end bag. I'll get you the official call here shortly. That'll give, that'll give Dublin Coffin a two-minute power play with 13.50 left to go in this third period. period. Dublin Drum still leading two to nothing on the power play in front of the net. Stopped by Dublin Drum, and they're able to clear, clear that puck. Reset their lines. And that'll be two minutes for holding officially for Dalton Miller. Coffin territory, Coffin will take possession right behind their own net. Give an opportunity to reset their line. That's number 12, Connor Kiersey bringing it up for the Rocks. Clear it into Jerome territory behind the net. Graff will put up his handle, have nice and 13 minutes left to go in this third period. Dublin Jerome leads the Dublin Coffin Rocks 2 to nothing with a minute six left on that power play. We'll have a face off in Coffin territory coming up here shortly. Looks like we got line two for Dublin Jerome, consisting of Trent Belli taking this face off, J.P. Weaver and Ethan French 
both on, both his wingers. Face off one by Dublin Drum, shot right in front of net, point blank from number 18, JP Weaver, but is not able to bury that one. Trent Belli will just go ahead and attempt to reset this puck and get his voice set back again. 55 seconds left to go on this power play shot, gloved by Harrison Graff. And here's that breakaway for you once again. Shot on net by number 22, Cam Andrews, is snagged by Harrison Graff. Two to nothing, Dublin Drum leads Dublin Kaufman right here in the third period. Kaufman, 45 seconds left to go in that power play. Dublin Drum is able to clear that down the ice. That's number 10, Joseph DeCicere, taking that puck, attempting to clear it. Joseph DeCicere with it at mid ice, number nine. Adam Hoover out with it center ice, finding his teammate in front of the net, stopped by Harrison Graff. And that'll be and that'll be cleared out by number 18, Ethan French. Uh, I'm sorry, J number 18, JP Weaver in Dublin Drum. That'll give an opportunity to reset. 18 seconds left to go in this power in this power play for Dublin Goffman. Mid ice, Kaufman trying to get another opportunity on net here before before this power play is up. Six seconds left to go in this power play, and Dublin Drum's gonna clear that puck out and that'll That'll kill off this power play. We'll be back to five on five hockey. 11.52 left to go in this third period. Dublin, Jerome leads Dublin Coffin two to nothing in this battle of Dublin. Jerome with possession of the puck. Attempts to find his teammate mid ice, is able to find him, but is not able to make the connection. That's number 10, Dalton Miller, over there in the corner for Jerome. Fighting full possession of that puck over there. Jerome's able to take it back. Centering, finds his teammate, he buries it. And that's going to make it 3 nothing for Dublin Jerome. Excellent centering pass in front of the net right there for Dublin Jerome. We'll get your replay on it shortly. Centering pass in front of the net is able to find open real estate, shoots and he scores. Officially, that'll be number three. Number three, Nick Augenstein with with the wrister to make it three to nothing. Dublin Jerome over Dublin Goffin. Face off one at mid ice by Dublin Jerome. Nick Augenstein takes possession of that puck, clears it up mid ice. Goffin with possession of that puck. Jerome will take possession of that puck right back. Kosaki in front of the net is not able to center that one. Adam Booth working hard in front of that net trying to find a deflection. Behind the net for Dublin Jerome. 22 Kosaki still battling for that buck, trying to find, trying to find goal number four in the day. And officially on that goal scoring, on that goal score was Ethan Wheeler on the assist, and number three Nick Augenstein on the goal. Drum still applying the pressure, <laughs> tripped up mid ice. I don't think it was quite, quite tripping there. Fighting for possession of that puck deep into Dublin Coffin territory. Two, three, four, five different players trying to trying to get that puck out of, out of that scrum. Drum still with possession of that puck, looking shoots just wide right. 10:21 left to go in this third period. Dublin Drum leads the Coffin Rocks three to nothing. In front of the net once again. Set aside by Harrison Buke. Wesley Buick, I apologize. Coffin with possession of the puck. They'll go ahead and clear, and that'll give them an opportunity to reset their lines. I apologize. Jerome goes in, takes possession of that puck right in front. And that's big Adam Bourbon again with the opportunity in front, just wide right. Coffin with possession of this puck in, in their own territory, trying to clear this puck out of here. Several different guys over there in the corner fighting for possession of this puck. That's Steven Tejada out there in the corner trying, trying to make sense of these, these different scrums. To Nate Colinda will go ahead and clear it for his teammates back into Coffin territory. That'll give Coffin an opportunity to go ahead and reset their lines again. Get some fresh bodies out there. 9.09 left to go in this third period. Dublin Jerome leads Dublin Coffin by a score of 3 0. Coffin will go ahead and ice that puck and we'll have the face off. Just 
just to kind of reset a little bit. 9.05 left to go in this contest. Dublin Jerome leads Dublin Kaufman three to nothing currently. Harrison Graff playing a fantastic game, but I think the bigger story is that defense for Dublin Jerome. You give up the one opportunity, but they're not giving up several in front of the net, and they're really playing hard for for their for their netminder for their senior goalie Harrison Graff. Possession of the puck behind the Dublin Kaufman net. Kaufman's able to take that. Tries to find his teammate center ice. Can't find his teammate. Dublin Jerome will go ahead. Reset that puck, get it back out to mid-ice, and there's number 23, Trent Bella, looking for a, his sixth goal on the season, scoring two more last night, making that five on the campaign. In front of the net, shot just wide right by Ethan French. French again in front of the net, shoots just deflected up high, and that's going to hit the net. We have another stoppage of play. 8.37 left to go in this third period. Dublin Jerome leads Dublin Kaufman, three to nothing. Right here in the scoringair.com, game of the week, we'll get that net back on. It's hinges down there, and we'll get going. Face off one by Kaufman. Trent Belli is laying on the ice, taken down at face off. He's not quite the production he had last night. He's really been playing a tough game. You can see just physically tired. Dublin Jerome leading Dublin Kaufman three to nothing right now with 8:29 left to go in this third period. Stoppage of play, and we'll get another faceoff. It looks like we're going to have Trent Belli. Number 23 will be going to the bench for Dublin Jerome. Looks like a two minute power play, and I'll get the official call on it for you here shortly. We'll have five on four hockey for Dublin Kaufman. This is going to be a huge opportunity for the Rocks to get something in that and get some momentum going. But we got a breakaway, a short, short-handed breakaway by Nate Collins team, but that's broken up in front of the net. Possession of the puck by Augustine once again, fighting fighting for that puck deep in the corner. You can probably hear it in my mic. Move it. That's get it, get that puck out of that corner. And that'll be officially two minutes high sticking on, on Belli. That's number 10. Joseph DeCicero dumps it into, into the drum zone. Ben Shefflin attempts to get it back in there, number 23. Clues it out to number 10, Joseph DeCicero once again. DeCicero is able to get the puck to his teammate, Alec Lewis, in front of the net, nothing doing. Like I was mentioning earlier, that Dublin Jerome defense is just playing extremely tough and with a lot of heart. I mean, net minor Harrison Graff's had a lot to do with the shutout, but that defense, shorthanded breakaway, st stoned by Buick. 7.22 left to go in this third period. 51 seconds left to go on that power play. Jerome leads Kaufman 3 to nothing. Kaufman with a breakaway isn't able to capitalize on the opportunity. Shot on net, stopped by the defense once again. That's number 12, Ryan Jenkins clearing it out of the zone for Dublin Jerome and number 10, Dalton Miller clearing it down the ice for the Celtics. If you're a Dublin Coffin fan, family member, you've got to get something going now. You've got to take advantage of this power play. You've got 20 seconds left to go in this power play. You're down three. You've got to get some, something's got to, something's got to get buried here soon. Possession of the puck behind the Coffin. Matt Coffin's going to go ahead and bring it up. That's number 22. Cam Andrews is going to bring it up for, for the Rocks once again, looking for his teammate in front of the net. Puck behind. Puck behind the Dublin Jerome net. Shot on net is deflected wide once again by that Dublin Jerome defenseman. And Belli in front of the net. Shot on net deflected wide by Buick. I was saying earlier, Trent Belli with the two goals last night against New Albany. The 2 on one breakaway. Excellent stop by Wesley Buick. I mean, these goalies are 3-0 and for a reason. I mean, you're down three, but you can still see. I mean, these goalies are excellent. Face-off one by Dublin Jerome behind the Kaufman net. Look out to the right side. Number 18, JP Weaver attempted to push him back into Kaufman zone. Weaver with the puck behind the net, looking for a teammate to center it up with once again. 45, even French in front, shot on net, finds his teammate over, over 23. Trent Belli is not able to bury that opportunity. Belli to French is not able to make that connection. 
That'll be number 26, Comfort, clearing that back behind the, the, the coffin net. Bella and French over there in the corner fighting for possession of that puck. French in the corner looking for his teammate, Belli. Belli with it again. And Coffin's going to be able, attempts to clear it, is not able to clear it. Belli to French. French just wide right. Not able to center that one up on his stick. That's big defenseman Jack Moses. Deep in the territory. Shot on net by Jerome. Stopped wide by the defense. Coffin attempts to clear it, and they're able to do so. That's number 23 for Coffin. It's smacked across the middle by number 26, Comfort. Let's see that one again. Vince Comfort just laying the, laying the smack down on that Dublin, Dublin Coffin winger. This entire game, I mean, they've been hitting hard in this one. That's gonna, that's gonna give two minutes for Vince Comfort. I'll get you the official word here shortly. 5.06 left to go in this third period. That'll give Dublin Coffin another two minute power play, another opportunity to get back into this game. Ref comes over the drum bench, says a little something or another. And it looks like we're gonna have two guys in the box. And that's both Brendan King and Vince Comfort in the box for Jerome. Shot on net by Coffin, stopped by Harrison Graff. Graff coming up absolutely huge once again. Five minutes left to go in this third period. Three nothing, Dublin Jerome. We'll have another face off down there in Jerome territory. That looks like number 11, Brian Willow, will win that face off for Jerome. Still deep in Jerome territory in the corner, fighting for possession of that puck again. Coffin looking to bury just anything to get back in this contest. We've got five on four hockey. And that'll officially be a two minute head contact and a 10 minute misconduct. So the second player going over to the box for Jerome was for that 10-minute ten, ten, ten misconduct. Coffin in possession of the puck out wide. That's number 12. Connor Kiersey leading the charge, trying to find his teammate. That's number 9 for Coffin over there on the right-hand side. That puck's going to go into the Jerome, Jerome bench, and we'll have another stoppage of play. 4-11 left to go in this contest. Dublin Jerome leads Dublin Kaufman 3 to nothing, and you, can, and you can sense this contest getting chippy. 105 left to go in this power play for Dublin Kaufman. Like I was saying earlier, if you're a Kaufman fan, family member, you've got to get something on this power play. Two power plays in the third period, down three. You've got to capitalize on both, if not at least one of them. A soft one by Coffin, <laughs> point blank shot, stiff, stiff aside by Harrison Graff. Trum's able to clear that puck into Coffin territory. That's Posa Christopher Posaki leading that one on two charge, not able to get a shot on net. Puck down to Coffin territory. Posaki, I mean, a one man wrecking crew right back there <laughs> leading that charge. Coffin with the, with the puck out center, and that's going to be number 11, Alec Willis. Attempting to get that, dump that puck into Jerome territory, he's not able to do so. Jerome dumps that back into Coffin territory. 22 seconds left to go in this Dublin, Dublin Coffin power play. 3.24 left to go in this third period, 3 0 Jerome. In front of that shot on that, deflected wide by Harrison Graff. Harrison Graff, like, like I was saying, I mean, one chance and that defense is clearing it. Coffin maybe with another opportunity here. Graff deflects it wide behind the net once again. 3-0 to Dublin Jerome, 307 left to go in this third period. And that two-minute power play will be over and we'll be back to even even hockey. Fighting for possession of that puck behind the Jerome net. Coffin's shot's gonna be wide off the glass. And another big hit by those Jerome <laughs> by those Jerome defenders. Possession of the puck's gonna go to Dublin Jerome. Not able to start that rush. Jerome will go ahead and reset. That'll give both teams an opportunity to reset their lines. 2.38 left to go in this contest. Dublin Jerome leading Dublin Coffin 3 to nothing. Coffin possession of the puck. Not able to capitalize on anything there. Coffin defenseman shoots it out just wide of Harrison Graff. 
Puck's going to go down in possession of Gotham with possession of this puck back behind the drum net. We'll give him an opportunity to go ahead and switch up those lines once again. We'll have line two out there for Dublin Drum, Weaver, French, and Belli. Belli centering at center ice. Finds J.P. Weaver to his right-hand side. Dumps that puck behind the net, behind the Dublin Coffin net. 1.59 left to go in this one. Dublin Jerome leads Dublin Coffin 3 to nothing. Looks like Wesley Buick will just lay on that one. We'll have a stoppage of play. And we'll get another faceoff. Puck slowly slid in front of the net. One fifty-three left to go in this third period. We're back to even hockey. Dublin Jerome leads Dublin Coffin three to nothing. Coffin wins the faceoff possession. Back and forth. More of that tough hockey up against the boards. Puck behind the Coffin net. Coffin attempting to clear this puck. More and more bodies are hitting the, the ground. This is a very physical game. Coffin with its center ice. Shot on net, deflected wide once again by Harrison Graff. And that's number 27 for Jerome, hitting, hitting the ice once again. On the charge for Dublin Drum. Shot in front of the net, st stopped, sh stopped wide by Wesley Buick. Puck back out to mid ice. It'll give Dublin Drum an opportunity to go ahead and reset this puck. 112 left to go in this contest. Dublin Drum leads Kaufman 2 3 to nothing. Shot on net, stopped by Buick. And that'll give us another opportunity for a face off. like line three coming out for Jerome. Christopher Bosacki, Brian Wheeler, Evan Shea with Jack Moses and Vince Comfort on defense. That'll be 22. Bosacki winning the faceoff for Dublin Jerome. Jerome dumping it into Gotham territory. Six Adam Booth trying to find that puck game line behind him. One minute left to go in this contest. Three to nothing Jerome currently. Jerome with possession of the puck deep in the coffin territory. like we've got two guys in the penalty box. I'll get, get that info to you as soon as I get it. Dublin Coffin with possession of this puck, trying to clear it out of their own zone, trying to find any sense of life here. Here at the end of the third period, 34 seconds left to go in this contest. Jerome leads Coffin 3 nothing. Shot in front of the net, deflected wide by Buick. Tough, tough fighting in front of that in front of that net. These two teams still playing extremely hard. Jerome is able to clear that puck, puck behind behind the goal goaltender Harrison Graff. Jack Moses will go ahead and Jack Moses will go ahead and reset his line, get it up to his winger. Two, one, and that's gonna be the end of this one. Dublin Jerome takes this tough fought battle over Dublin Kaufman by a score of three to nothing. This, the story of this one was really just tough fought, lots of bodies on the ice. I mean, lots. we had a player misconduct, we had a high sticking. We had a lot of physical play in this one. But at the end, end, of this, end of this matchup, Dublin Drum gets the best of Dublin Kaufman, three to nothing. You've been listening to the scoreonair.com game of the week.
someone who has always dreamed of a career in sports media? The Ohio Media School now offers a six-month sports emphasis program to prepare you for a whole new career. Whether it's radio or television, play-by-play or production, the Ohio Media School has you covered. You will receive training from professionals that are actually in the industry. The Ohio Media School will get you where you need to be for a successful career in this exciting, expanding field. To schedule a visit, call 614-655-5250 or go to beonair.com. Stop dreaming about a career in sports and make it a reality at the Ohio Media School. Are you someone who has always dreamed of a career in sports media? The Ohio Media School now offers a six-month sports emphasis program to prepare you for a whole new career. Whether it's radio or television, play-by-play or production, the Ohio Media School has you covered. You will receive training from professionals that are actually in the industry. The Ohio Media School will get you where you need to be for a successful career in this exciting, expanding field. To schedule a visit, call 614-655-5250 or go to beonair.com. Stop dreaming about a career in sports and make it a reality at the Ohio Media School. I'm Gary Robinson with the scoreonair.com game of the, game of the day between Dublin Jerome and Dublin Kaufman. Dublin Jerome winners 3 nothing over over the Kaufman Rocks and I'm joined with goalie Harrison Graf. Harrison, what's going on, man? Nothing much, just a couple good dubs, you know, a couple more to get in the weekend. Yeah, absolutely. One of the things I first noticed in this game was obviously the shutout. So congratulations on that first and foremost. Thank you so much. Absolutely. But the other thing that I really noticed that really stuck out to me was your defense played extremely well in front of you. Looking at that shot chart, shot chart, excuse me, they had maybe three or four quality chances in that one. How much credit do you, do you give to your boys for this one? I give them a ton of credit. I mean, you can't stop them all, of course. It's nice to have that, D, uh, that defense uh, in front of you to stop shots and uh, take away their uh, opportunities. Yeah, absolutely. Improving to 4-0 on the season, pitching this shutout. What are you looking for tomorrow? Same thing, shut out, nothing less. I like it. Thanks so much, Harrison. Thank you. Yep. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.